What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of The Road to Glory. Um, today guys is going to be a super short episode for a couple of reasons. Number one, my dad's in town and so I'm spending some time with him. And number two is because I've been spending, well I, myself, Toby and Ram have been spending a day, uh, well more Toby and a little less Ram and even less me, have been spending a day trying to sort my mic settings out. Uh, hopefully it sounds good again now. Um, I you know, I apologise for the few days where it was there was problems. It's the weirdest thing. There was no problem on like Tuesday. Then on Wednesday, people were saying that there's a little vibration sound. I kind of ignored it. Then Thursday more, then Friday more. Then I tried to fix it more and more. And then a new issue came. And hopefully now um, it's working well. Before we get into the gameplay today, I think there's like four games or something like that today. Uh, I just want to show you the team that I'm running for Foot Champs and the tactics. You are going to see me complete Wayne Rooney here today as well. Uh, but we've got Courtois in goal. Uh, we've gone for Zambrotta right back. I've gone back in for Screen PK at right centre back and Sergio Ramos at left centre back with Jordi Alba back in the team at left back. Kevin De Bruyne is in the team with Wayne Rooney. Seven goals in seven games for him, even though you're only going to see four goal four games today uh, where he scored five goals. And I'll tell you something, man. This card is brilliant. Like, I like it a lot, a lot. Um... And then we've got Phillips in the team as well. So Phillips are coming up top there. Bernardo Silva's in the team too. Um, Ian Wright's back in the team. And Kent is in the team as well. So that is the team that we use in for today's uh, games. We play the 4-2-3-1, of course, with uh, Phillips and De Bruyne in at CDM. Uh, Rooney actually at central cam with Ian Wright up front. And then Bernardo Silva and Kent as my wingers um, on the outside cam spots. And then we've got a bench that... I can't decide on who I like more to have on the bench. Do I want Saar on there because he helped break that record to keep the Arsenal Invincibles alive? Ziyech is just a brilliant card, as is Di Maria. Mkhitaryan, I tell you something, guys. Is he still available? If he is, get him done. Two games I've played with him as a sub, and he scored five goals for me. He is genuinely brilliant. Like, levels brilliant. Uh, Di Maria and Ziyech are brilliant, as is Hazard. Orsic and Ossiemen are two great cards as well. So my bench is looking like pretty fantastic. I like some of the players on the bench more than I like the players in the starting lineup. But, you know, even though this is called Ultimate Team, you can't always put your favorite players in without chemistry restrictions. Uh, you know, so I would love to play Ziyech here and, and start him at Cam. Just can't do it. He just doesn't get the chemistry. And that sucks. Um, and then also De Bruyne doesn't get the chemistry. And, you know, problem after problem. I, I would also like to play Akuna instead of Phillips. Guess what? Can't do it. Just doesn't get the chemistry, right? And so it sucks. It, it sucks quite bad uh, that we don't get the luxury of using the players that we want. And in fact, I'd like to have McTarian there. This is probably the, the front six I would like to start with um, in every game. Um, may, maybe, maybe Hazard over Kent. Um, but also maybe not. I don't know. But ultimately, we can't use the team we want to use, which sucks a lot. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you the team that we're going to be using for today's games, guys, and then show you as well uh, with regards to, once again, the uh, SBCs, um, just to keep you updated. I think tomorrow's episode is going to be me completing every SBC um, or every league SBC. I've got to finish off the Bundesliga three teams, a bit expensive, but we're going to do it. We've got to buy like three more uh, Dijon players. I started going through the Syria and then we've got Saudi League and Eredivisie and then Every other league SBC is completed. So I'm excited for that. Uh, and then today, guys, EA released uh, Mackay Steven. Now, this is a quality card. Uh, I didn't do a video on this on the main channel. So we'll, we'll take a look at it. It's quality card. has got five-star skill moves, high-low work rates, right? And then compared to his uh, silver card, the MLS 69, he's been given 12 pace, 23 shooting, 18 passing, 13 dribbling, 6 defending, and 15 physical boost. Um, and his work rate, skill moves, and weak foot are the same. And of course, he's moved from a right mid to a striker. This is a good card if it was an 83 rated squad required for him. But you require an 84 rated squad for him. It's 30,000 coins. Do I think this card is worth 30,000 coins? Generally speaking, no. 80 stamina, really poor strength and aggression, 70 reactions, 76 composure. Just doesn't do it for me at all. The rest of the card is great, but there's too many key elements make me think 30k if this card was on the market he'd be 10k discard 100 percent. so i don't think it's necessarily worth it but as a good mls card for any objectives you might need the mls players in for a scottish player that you might need scottish players in or, or to link with scottish league players for a five-star skiller for just a good sub maybe you've got some untradables in your club that you can use that will help with him maybe you haven't 
Uh, but there you go, guys. We're going to get into some packs, some Rooney squad building, and uh, some other things, some gameplay uh, right now, guys. So I will be right back. And all right, guys, as we go into the gameplay area, I've got uh, some comments from yesterday's video. We've got five comments from yesterday's video, which I'm hoping we've got enough time for, which uh, knowing me, we probably haven't. Uh, the first one is from Football Central. And this is an interesting one that I want you guys to test that I, I don't believe... Um, is true but it's going to be an interesting one to test he says nep if you quit a single player draft on 37 in game seconds you get a draft token every time i don't know if that's true i don't even know how you would quit on 37 seconds perfectly every single time but hey you guys want to go and test it out for me i'll test it out with you uh you know the offline draft method is obviously very very nice so uh, we'll go and try that and test it out uh ron abram says nep i've noticed the videos lately have been lower in volume to the point where i need to raise it all your videos and turn it down for everyone else's just wanted to let you know thanks and that is because as i was talking about earlier i've just had some problems man i can't even explain it i don't know where it came from you know i had a problem a few like months ago where people were hearing these cricket sounds in my videos and i was like what do you guys mean i couldn't hear it because i, I literally just couldn't hear the frequency and so i had to like go through rigorous testing to try and figure out what it was and we isolated the problem it turned out it was an xbox Fixed the problem. Audio went back to perfect again for the longest time. Out of nowhere again, people started saying, hey, Nep, I can hear the crickets again really, really loud. I couldn't hear them. The Xbox was turned off. Everything else was the same. I don't know what changed. We eventually again managed to isolate the problem. And the camera that is staring at me right now, it turned out it was the power box for the camera that was creating it. So we ordered a new power box and resolved that problem. No audio problems again. Then out of nowhere, as I said earlier, a few days ago, People are like, hey, Nep, there's like a vibration sound after your mic. And I'm like, no, you guys are just trolling me now. There's no way. Did some testing with that. Just sort of like did a few bits here and there. Fixed the problem so I couldn't hear the vibration sound now anymore. And then all of a sudden, people are saying, oh, Nep, like you sound like you're in a cup. And I'm thinking, I'm literally using, like I've got saved settings on my, like, uh, my amp or mixer or whatever. So I just re like re click the file to reset all my settings back to like my saved settings that I know was quality beforehand, and still didn't fix it. So today we spent the whole day. I say we again, not me particularly, but the the audio should now be much, much better. And if it's not, then I might have to just quit YouTube because it's frustrating. Um, the next comment is from F K F D K J D. What a, what a name. He says, you need to get Rooney. He is a serious goal scorer. And today, you are about to see that, A, we did get Rooney. And B, he was indeed a serious goal scorer. He scored some brilliant goals. He was fun to play with. As as I half expected with Rooney, I did have to take him off in the... I had two close games, two, two wipeouts where I didn't have to take him off. And then two close games where I had to take him off. Um, just because 81 stamina as a cam is not great, right? So by the 60th or 65th minute... Uh, if you guys don't know, stamina like impacts passing, shooting, I think agility, uh, which Rooney already has like relatively low agility anyway, but it impacts like a few stats like that, uh, which obviously is bad and it impacts either acceleration or sprint speed. I can't remember which one. Uh, EA, they've, they've, they've um, effects of stamina FIFA 20. Let's see if I can get the, uh, the, the thing. Um, the, the EA did like release a, a piece of information about how it changes things and stuff i'm never going to be able to find it right now on a whim uh, but yeah ultimately i knew rooney was going to have stamina issues but as we looked at earlier on in the video i have got an insane bench like my bench is just absolutely fantastic so i don't care at this stage in fifa to have these players with low stamina or well not low stamina like if his stamina was in the 70s i'd probably think twice about using him but in the 80s I'm now at a point where, hey, guess what? I'm happy to use him. I'll just sub him out. I've got some amazing players on the bench. I've got amazing players on the reserves and amazing players in the club that I don't even pull out to use. So, you know, there's no problem with um, there's no problem with it. Uh, this man on, on the ball right now is all really happy with him. But yeah, there, there's no problem with Rooney's low stamina unless you don't have super subs. But the way EA have created this game this year, everybody should have really good super subs. So yeah, for me, his stamina isn't a problem. And his card is just brilliant. I had so much fun playing with him. Uh, I can't wait to play more with him. I can't wait to keep playing Champs games uh, late tonight after my dad's gone to bed. I'm going to come back on and play some more Champs games. Get up to 11 wins minimum. Try and get up to 14 wins. But 
as the absolute minimum, I'm going to get to nine wins because I want that uh, ultimate pack for this Shapeshifters team too. And uh, yeah, I, I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed using Wayne Rooney. And for 250,000 coins, I highly recommend him to you guys. If you don't have that kind of coins available, he's there for like six more days. I would say do your best, work your hardest to get the coins. This will be a player that you will not regret picking up and putting in your team. I promise you, he is very good. Uh, Max Darman says, you're not playing the 4-3-2-1 anymore? No. Um, no, I'm not. Uh, for, like, There's no particular reason. That, I, I was actually thinking about this uh, yesterday. There's a few usable formations this year. The 4 2 the 4 2 3 one narrow, the 4 3 2 one, the 4 4 2 both variants, uh, and the 4 one 2 one 2 narrow. So there are a few, and, and you know, for some people, the 3 5 2 works, and the 5 3 2 one, or the 5 3 2, sorry, or the 5 2 2 one works. But for me, I, I just I just much prefer four back formations and five or three back formations. Um, but yeah, I switched off at the 4 3 2 one. What I noticed was. The formation, the 4-3-2-1 for me personally and the 4-4-2 for me personally, whenever I came up against a player who was very, very good as a player, uh, let alone their team, I just got exposed in those formations. And so like, I started going back to the 4-2-2 and the 4-2-3-1 where I had two DMs. Not that I don't in the 4-4-2 either, like, you know, especially if you use a second variant, you still have two DMs. But I just prefer the balance of the defense, defensive midfielders and the attack in the 4-2-3-1 narrow and the 4 triple two. I used the 4-1-2-1-2 narrow last weekend. I hated it. I like. I know it's a usable formation. I know a lot of the top pro players use it a lot. For me personally, I just it's not the way I play FIFA. I don't play FIFA narrow and down down the center. I don't do the ticky tacker ping pong passing. You know, when I skill, see skills play, honestly, it looks like he's just tapping A with his eyes closed. He passes so much so quick. I just feel like he's going and hoping for the best. Obviously, there's a lot of skill involved. You know, it's it's a lot deeper than that. Um, but uh, yeah, that's what it looks like. So I thought, let me try that. It's just not how I play FIFA. I, I, I spend more time on the ball. I don't pass quick enough. I, I do too many skill moves and tricks and, and too many drag backs and stuff to, to be able to play in that way. Uh, so the best formations for me is a 4-2-3-1 and a 4 triple 2 which is confusing because I love having two strikers, but I also love having a center cam. So, you know... Maybe 4 one 2 one 2 wide would be good, but then I don't have the two DMs. I don't know. It's tricky. And then the last comment uh, is from Tato Vids. He says, how is your finishing so good? Well, firstly, it comes down to a lot of practice and understanding the angles to shoot from and how to shoot. And it, understanding the players that you have and how much power you need to put on, whether or not using a strong foot or weak foot, whether or not they have outside the foot shot trait or not, or finesse shot trait or not. That makes an impact. Um, but mostly it comes down to just lots of practice. Like one thing that I don't do very well is I don't see easy passes a lot. And that's what I'm saying. Like sometimes I cut into an angle and I've got an easy slide ball in behind for a, a square goal and an easy finish. And I just ignore it for a skill move and a finesse shot, right? So ultimately it comes it, it comes down to just watching my own gameplay back and practicing lots. So there you have it, guys. That is the gameplay and the, get, the video for today. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, rating, comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.